price determination of Navajo weavings has many factors. I use five. I use these every time with every weaving. In fact, this is pretty much, if you get anything from my lectures, this is the one you want. The five things are, one, size. A larger weaving took longer to make. It's going to be more expensive. Two, tightness of weave. If it's a very tight weave versus a very thick weave, it's going to be, again, more time consumption and more expensive. Three, condition. Now the things that I look for are the same things every time. Does it have fading? Are both sides, that means you need to look on both sides, even? Or have they had some kind of color run or fading occur? Also, look for things like stains, tears, anything that might take away from the integrity of the piece itself. Four has to do with the age. If it's a rug, it's going to be one value. If it's a blanket, it's another. You have to be able to determine if it's a rug or a blanket to be able to really know the value. General rule, blankets are thin, soft, you'd wear it. Rugs, you'll throw it on the ground and it has a border. Now, all four of those have been objective criteria. You can look at them, use a specific determination of what this is. Size, condition, tightness of weave, age. The last one, now that's where the art form comes in, and that has to do with art. What's its artistic merit? You remember, these people are artists, and like any artist, some are better than others. So what I look for in artistic merit is either complexity of pattern or sometimes even simplicity of pattern, but done in a way that obviously shows a great deal of skill. If you learn those five elements of looking at a Navajo rug, and that's what I've done for 20 years, you're going to know how to price your textiles.